everyone, this is Cory. Welcome to another watercolor video. This one is going to be a little different from my previous ones. In fact, this almost did not become a video because I was not happy with how the painting turned out. I was experimenting with the X-Acto knife. I had used it minimally in the past for creating fine lines in watercolor before and after painting. And the before worked quite well. I had done that before and was pretty pleased with it, so I wanted to experiment a bit more. But using it afterwards to create very fine white lines for hair did not work very well at all. It almost destroyed the paper. So I was not going to uh, use this video. But then when I thought more about it, I realized a lot of art involves experimenting and sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want or the way you expect and that is okay. So this was a way for me to show that sometimes you do something, create a piece of art that does not look how you want or it you tried a new technique and it didn't go well and so it's easy to think that was a total waste and it's useless now but actually and i have to remind myself of this very often anytime you engage in an art practice it is beneficial you're going to improve you're going to learn something you're going to realize maybe that didn't work i'll try this next time or hey this is something i've never done before and it did work so there's never a time when you're doing art that is wasted. So with this video, here I'm using the X-Acto knife again. I went, I had my sketch, my sketch with a very light pencil, and then I went in those areas where I wanted really fine hairs and put little fine scratch lines with the X-Acto knife before I began painting. So then when I painted over, some of that texture of the hair came through because the paint sunk into the grooves made by the X-Acto knife. So I was pretty happy with how that worked out. However, near the end of the video, I go back and once the paint is completely dry, tried to use the X-Acto knife to create the white sort of eyelash hairs and it did not go well. The paper tore up really bad and it just was too much coming off at once and then it didn't create those really fine white lines in the way that I was hoping it would. So it's it's not wasted, it's something that I learned so I can improve next time. I also was a little rushed with this painting, I was, really, I was wanting to get a video out as soon as possible so I didn't spend nearly as much time on it as I typically would to get the detail, the level of detail that I usually want. So there's that as well. be really challenging to share your what you might say are failures with others because you think I only want them to see my best and this looks terrible but we all have a learning curve we all make mistakes or stumble sometimes so I thought this might be an encouraging way of showing you that even after years of working with drawing and watercolor, I still struggle as well and, and might try new things that don't work out. So I encourage you to be open to experimenting, be okay with quote unquote failure. Although with art, I really think that it's not failure, it's just realizing something didn't work, learning from it, and then moving on to the next thing. So hopefully this will encourage you as you work on your art to be okay if something doesn't turn out the way you want, learn from it, and then go back and, and do, keep, 
keep working, keep practicing, keep painting, whatever it is that you're doing. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Even on the sketch for this painting, I was a little rushed. I, I didn't draw in all of the details, and I normally don't draw in every single detail, but some of the placement of where the shadowing and highlights for the eye should have been, I got incorrect. So as I started painting, I realized, well, that's not exactly accurate. So I had to let it dry, go back with a clean, damp brush and and lift off some of that really dark paint from the sort of pupil and then go back over so there's a good thing to remember is that slowing down sometimes allows you to go faster so for instance in this case I was being really rushed and made some mistakes and had to go back and fix them versus if I had maybe taken a little more time up front and just realized that I need to pace myself and go at the regular speed that I would with a painting, then I might have avoided some of those mistakes. The reference image I used for this is linked in the description below. I, in the end, was not at all happy with how it compared to the original photo, but if you want to take a look at that, uh, I got it from Unsplash and uh, give the artist some credit. I'm sorry, the video will skip coming up here. I thought I pressed play at one point to show me using the X-Acto knife and either I didn't press it correctly or my phone was too full. So it, the first part of using the X-Acto knife is not in this video, I apologize, but you will see part of it right here where I've already done some and you can tell that the lines are very jagged and uneven and of course the closer you get there was just a lot of the paper coming away, so it didn't work out nicely, but I went ahead and put a signature on it anyhow. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and remember to be kind to yourself. See you in the next one. Bye.